Hey guys, Jeff Schneider here. In today's video, we're going to talk about superimposing diminished seven chords over regular dominant seven chords. Dominant seven chords are great because you can play all kinds of notes that don't really fit in the original chord and you can get away with it because it's a chord that already includes some tension between that third and flat seven. That's the interval of a tritone. So for instance, a B flat seven chord, the third is a D and the seven is a flat. The distance between those two notes is a tritone. So it's already a very tense, um, a dissonant chord in some ways. So we can kind of expand upon that and in this situation, we're actually going to use a B flat diminished seven chord as sort of a, um, a superimposed sound over that original B flat seven chord. So this particular lick that I played at the beginning, I think I stole it from um, Will Vinson. He's, a, he's one of my favorite saxophonists, actually one of, my, uh, one of my first teachers. And I'm pretty sure he plays this or I've heard him play it at some point. So uh, thanks, thanks to Will and you guys should check him out. So here we go. We're going to first focus on the arpeggio of a B flat diminished seven. So that sounds like this. That's B flat, D flat, E, and G. That's probably the easiest way to think of it. I'm playing in concert key, by the way, or I'm talking in concert key, I'm playing on alto. So um, what I'm playing is G diminished, but let's just talk in, in concert key. B flat diminished seven. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is this pattern where we start on the core tone and we're gonna go chromatically down by two steps. So starting on the B flat, contra B flat, we're gonna go B flat, A, A flat. And then we're gonna do the same pattern but start on the, uh, the, the minor third. So that's D flat, C, C flat, or D flat, C, B. And then the same pattern starting on the, the diminished fifth, which is E, so we have E, E flat, D. And then finally, the uh, the next chord tone up is going to be that G. So we'll go G, G flat, F. When you put it all together, it sounds like this. And you can keep going up. So with the faster tempo, it sounds like this. That was going up from the, uh, the one, the flat three, the flat five, the diminished seven, to the one again, and then finally I finished up with that three at the top, the flat three. You can do this with different kinds of rhythms. You could do it in triplets, you could do it in 16th notes. That's 16th notes, or triplets. So you can change the rate up. Sorry for butchering the singing there. And then on the way down, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Instead of coming down, uh, let's see, we went all the way up to the flat three. Instead of coming down in, in reverse by going flat three and then starting the pattern on the one like this. Actually, that's just gonna end up playing the chromatic scale if you did it that way. So that's why we're gonna mix it up a little bit here. We're gonna start the pattern. And when I say pattern, I mean going down chromatically two steps. We're gonna start it on that flat three. That's D flat C, B. And then we're gonna go down to the diminished seven. That's gonna be G, G flat, F. So we're skipping over the one. And then once we play the pattern starting on the diminished seven, then we'll go back to the one after that. You see, we're kind of doing a leapfrog. We're starting up here, jumping down here, and then coming back. And then we're gonna jump down again and come back, jump down again and come back. In this little nugget, you can really convey a diminished sound without necessarily needing that diminished chord underneath whatever it is you're playing. Improvisers have been doing this for a long time, not necessarily this pattern, but if you check out, uh, if you check out Ben Webster's solo on Cottontail, he does this thing, it's rhythm changes, and he does this thing that sounds something like this. Something along those lines, where again, it's just, it's just technically a B flat seven chord or even maybe a B flat major, depending on, I can't remember exactly what the, the rhythm section is playing behind him, but he is just superimposing that diminished sound. So guys, I encourage you to experiment with using the diminished seven chord, even when it's not written on the lead sheet 
or if it's if it's not in the changes that you're familiar with. But uh, especially when you have a, a chord that is sustained for a long time, so if you're on a funk tune or something that has B flat for 16 bars, B flat seven for 16 bars, throw it in there and see how it sounds. And you can use this pattern, the uh, the one where you do the, the chromatic steps down and then take it to the next chord tone. You can use that as a way to uh, get a very cool sound and it sounds great when you play it fast too. So, oh guys, uh, I almost forgot doing an unboxing, another unboxing. So let me get the goods. Some people sent me some stuff. Let's see what's inside. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. So we got another box from Diodario. I opened up another box from Diodario uh, a few, few weeks ago. I don't think I ever did a review on that stuff though. So we'll combine it with whatever's in here. So let's check it out. See if I can find the knife. All right, let's see if I can open it up with this pen. This is the worst idea. Okay. Jeez. Ugh. Plastic. Ah! I think it's a mouthpiece. A select jazz mouthpiece. I'm not sure what that means, but let's see what it looks like. Diodario Select Jazz. The Diodario Select Jazz mouthpiece captures the feel and tone of the uh, legendary mouthpieces from years past. Oh, that's kind of nice. Look at that. It says Select Jazz down there. Oh, there it is. Select Jazz. Nice looking mouthpiece. Let's see what's in this box. This is from uh, Hans. Hans de Fuco. Let's see what that's all about. Wow, there's so much tape on this thing. I don't know if the pen is going to do the trick. This is a heavy one. It's a heavy box. This will work. Oh, Hans. So much tape, Hans. Okay, got it open. Let's see what's inside. More paper. Oh, it's got my name on it. We've got, okay, guys, this is, this is exciting. It's not saxophone stuff. It's not even music stuff. It's hair stuff, people. Hair products. They're sending me the hair products. Watch out. All right, we got Hans de Fuco Claymation, certified organic extracts, super high hold, matte finish. Wow, okay, let's see what else we got. This is insane. We've got something called quicksand, high hold dry matte finish. What's the difference? Oh, this is matte finish. This is dry matte finish. This is really nice stuff, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Can you see this? Look at that. Beautiful. Now I've got my hat on today, but uh, next time I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try this stuff out. So we'll do a review. We're gonna do a review of the the Diodario saxophone mouthpieces and ligatures and reeds and all that stuff. And we're gonna also do a review of the Hans de Fuco uh, Discovery Kit hair products. Look at this. Discovery kit, Hans de Fuco, for the artist in all of us. So we got some little guys in here. Oh, here's a mini quicksand. And we've got the uh, claymation again. Look at this, it's a packet of shampoo. That's a nice sample. Good samples here. Guys, I, I didn't think we were gonna be doing hair stuff on this uh, YouTube channel, but hey, whatever works. And now we've got the sponge wax, matte finish. What does this stuff smell like? Not bad, pretty good smell. We got the small stuff in here. This is like the sample pack. And then they also sent uh, the big stuff, these big containers of the of the various products. And then there's just a lot of uh, these curly cues in here. We, we don't need them. Uh, I think that's everything. This is nice. This is really nice. Uh, let's see what the letter says. Guys, good news. We've got, um, we got a link here for uh, a free discovery kit. That's one of these with all the, the samples in it. It's free and it's for US residents. All you have to do is click on the link. So if you guys wanna check out this stuff, the, the discovery kit for free, I'll uh, hook it up with the link. But thanks Hans de Fuco for, for sending the goods, that was kind. This video's going on too long, so we'll do the Diodario stuff and the Hans de Fuco in-depth review in another video. Um, but until then guys, this is all over the place, but that's how it goes here. So I'll, I'll see you in the next one. If you have any questions, let me know. And, uh, and yeah, that's about it. So see ya.